this is my fifth time trying to edit this. This game really needs to be optimized. Alright, so how's it going guys? Uh, it's been a while since we talked, hasn't it? Alright, let's get, let's cut down to the chase and get exactly on what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Now you may have noticed for the past couple of days I've been uploading montages, mainly because one, I want to improve my editing skill, and two, well that's only mainly the main thing I'm really good at doing, well, montages. So then we're gonna cut to the chase of that and talk about how crappy they are and also talk about copyright. So if you haven't noticed, well you probably haven't noticed, but like for the past three videos, each one of them, literally each one of them, I've gotten copyright. So then like, Blair, you can't upload. Then I'm like, what? What the hell's going on? So I, let me just talk a little bit about copyright notices that it got and then let's talk about a couple of ways that you right there yourself can stop getting copyright all right let's get into it so first video was mainly the copyright song mainly because that song was copyrighted i got copyright so nothing i can do against that so what's done is done and i can't really change that no, I, I can private the video uh number second copyright notice I got was on a actual the random stuff video I uploaded I did about random things the reason I got copyrighted about that is because it's not a sound copyright it's a legitimate video copyright meaning that the small last deja vu beat clip I did about someone drifting and their parents getting mad at them I really thought I would get copyrighted because it's a really small clip I ended up getting copyrighted from it the funny thing is I got that clip from a whole a full compilation video that was uploaded by someone, so they're probably copyrighted too, so um you're back. Uh, and lastly was actually my uh, latest video, the R6 montage. So I ended up getting copyright on that mainly because of the song. Even though I searched up non-copyrighted song and the title said non-copyrighted song. Alright, so let's talk about a couple of ways you yourself cannot get copyrighted and be annoyed. Number five. Well, it's not. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be five, but let's just talk about number one, which is the obvious don't use copyrighted content. So, if you are the kind of person who does compilations or does like Fortnite montages, first thing first, don't use someone else's clips. Meaning, don't go and find Ninja and download his clip. You are gonna get copyrighted. Trust me on that. I've been copyrighted on the Ninja video. Number two. Uh, yeah, and, and another thing to go with that is don't mainly download copyright songs. If there's art, an artist and you use their song for your background video, that video is gonna get copyrighted. So don't do actual proper songs. Don't do copyright songs. If you wanna, like, hit put that song search for a remix which leads me to my second point for non-copyrighted songs non-copyrighted songs are basically copyrighted songs but with a little bit of remix and different stuff put into it making it non-copyright so to counterbalance these things one use the entire song because if you dare just search for a little part of that video you're gonna get copyright number two is to physically not like again like I mentioned 
do not use little parts of that video because that video, that music, is copyrighted but with a remix so it's not copyrighted. So whatever you do, don't use the full song, alright? Number three, if you do like physically want to use like a uh, little part or little like little music part of the video, like small part, then what you can do is the one, well actually not one, but like put music that's like non-copyrighted, that like the full song of non-copyrighted song behind that song, that small clip that you are using, that way the two songs kind of get mixed up together and end up being like, oh it's the songs together, it's different, it's not copyrighted, right? And now I know what you're thinking, it will sound really bad, well actually what you can do is turn, take one of those volume dials, volume audio thingy majiggies, and turn it down. So take one of the songs and make it really low and quiet sounding, and take one of the songs and make it pretty loud. So you can still hear like the tiny bit of the background music, but it goes with the top. Which leads me to my next point, sync up the music. Good. If you want to use a small clip of a song, make sure that the non-copyright song is fine to use for the background things up with the, copy the copyrighted song that you're using with the front video so meaning if you're using a song like thunder take for example just thunder what you should do is take another song that has almost the exact same beat as thunder but differently and then match it up so that the music syncs with the actual song so then you'll may or may not get copyrighted i don't think you would and yeah, that's uh, basically what I want to talk about, mainly the ways to get non-copyright. Ugh, I'm so tired. Okay, um, now I've also been noticing that if you're not... If, okay, so YouTube is bring, being a bit dumb when it comes to small YouTubers like moi. So, one thing I need you guys to do is turn on notifications because what happens, what ends up happening is that YouTube is like, oh, this person subscribe to PewDiePie or this person subscribe to Mark or Jack or some other big YouTuber and you're like okay the small YouTuber doesn't really matter this big guy this PewDiePie matters more than this small guy so we'll just put his video higher in the sub box than the others if you think I'm lying I'm not I, you won't get notifications if I upload a video at all but you will even if you don't have notifications applied exactly to PewDiePie and it doesn't really matter about like the big, big because they already have big subs, so it doesn't matter too much about them, right? Help me out. That's, so that's number two thing I want to talk about. One was copyright notices and how I come up ways to stop them or do it, which is the main idea, which is number one, don't use copyrighted content. Number two thing I want to talk about was please hit the notification subscribe button. Blah, 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 blah. Stop like that, so. Thank you. I generally have no idea what I want to talk about, so let's talk about the game I'm playing. So the game I'm playing is called Skill Wars. If any of you thought it was Call of Duty, then you'd be right and wrong. Right mainly because it's based off of Call of Duty, wrong mainly because it's not Call of Duty. Let's, let's talk about that. So, if you've noticed a couple of things, one, there's no mini-map, which is annoying, because I like mini-map. It helps me. And number two, there's no actual physical crosshair, meaning you're mainly gonna be aiming down sights almost all your fights. So, yeah. Now, I know for a fact that they're in the settings, there's a way to turn on crosshair, but that has to be with the server you're playing. So if you're not hosting the server, there's gonna be no crosshair and almost all the matches to join in. Number two, this is actually made by another YouTuber, meaning this game is made by one single person, meaning that you won't see too many updates but this game does get updated quickly and effective, so it's pretty fun. And there is actually a like a small community of people who legitimately play this game on a daily basis. Of course, you're gonna have to like search the server region, otherwise you won't find a single game. I know there's one ser uh, region which has like two or three games running almost every day, and the others have like one or twice every other week or something like that. So, yeah. Which leads me to my next point. So, you're gonna have ping problems. Trust me on that. Sometimes your ping will be like 145 to like 200. So, it gets bad. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, next thing I'm going to talk about is if you join in, like, the game's pretty fun, don't get me wrong, but it gets pretty tedious, pretty boring, and pretty annoying at most. Okay, let me give you a hint. It's basically taking Call of Duty, you know, with the aimed out sights, with the whole sliding, with the whole, uh, regen, uh, what do you call, effects, perks type of thing. Taking that, all of that, but adding it with a tactical shooter, being the, uh, army tactical shooters like, uh, Sandstorm, like Insurg Insurgents, uh, whatever the game's called, Sandstorm, with, uh, like, making it so that there's no minimap type of feel. And putting in CSGO effect of surround zone, meaning you're gonna have to listen to where the shots are coming from, or you're basically dead. So, alright, ah, uh, okay, oh, cool, okay, uh, I finally made it to uh, my goal, uh, 10 minutes, woohoo, okay, I'm gonna leave now because, uh, well, one, there's no one here right now because I'm talking to myself, not only in my house, but like also physically in the video. I know for a fact that no one made it this far. If you made it this far, comment down below Cherry. If I don't see Cherry, I'll just know that you guys haven't made it to the end of the video. Anyway, I'll see you later. You guys are awesome. You girls are awesome. You feel awesome. And yeah, have the best of the rest of your day. Bye for now. Yeah, mommy. I just want a...